takes a big chunk of the buffalo from its torso and starts tugging. And this big this tug of war of all tug of wars occur between what well, six lions and a crocodile. A lion has a bite pressure that they can get with their jaws of uh, almost 400 pounds per square inch, but the uh, crocodile exerts a pressure of 2,500 pounds per square. The lions go in for the kill. We were gasping. I, I mean, that was just the most incredible scene I had ever seen in my life. One is trying to keep the uh, the buffalo's mouth uh, shut to suffocate it. Another one's biting at its neck. You can see its eyes going wild with fear. Um, and we thought it was just never gonna, you know, come back from that. They still alive? You think? The buffalo herd retreats as the baby calf hangs on for dear life. But suddenly, a new attacker emerges from the murky waters. All the lions are on the buffalo, and out of nowhere comes the crocodile. It takes a big chunk of the buffalo from its torso and starts tugging. And this big, this the tug of war of all tug of wars occur between what well, six lions and a crocodile. A lion has a bite pressure that they can get with their jaws of uh, almost 400 pounds per square inch, but the uh, crocodile exerts a pressure of 2,500 pounds per square inch. Making one last diving attack, the croc chomps down on the back of the baby calf. The vicious tug of war comes to a violent crescendo when the lions, using their numbers and grasp on solid land, finally reclaim their prize. But as the lions are about to deliver the fatal blow, the avenging buffalo come back. And then the cavalry comes, and you see a massive black herd of buffalo. It's just one huge mob coming back across the watering hole. And what are these buffalo going to do? I mean, these are lions. Lions attack buffalo. The buffalo will. A lion has a bite pressure that they can get with their jaws of uh, almost 400 pounds per square inch. But the uh, crocodile exerts a pressure of 